Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's my pleasure to have a presentation on overviews of Chinese medicine for psoriasis virus. I come from Guangzhou University of Chinese Medicine in China. There are three chapters in my presentation. First of all, let's see the care list of Chinese medicine. In the long history of Chinese medicine, there have become many careless listes, but most of them maybe are uh, horizon with eternal movement, maintain balance between yin and yang, and syndrome duration and treatment. Let us see what is the holistic views. There are several concepts that can help us to understand these uh, uh, views. The first one is human body is an organic entirety. All the organs and tissues is inseparable in structure, interrelated in pathology and, and physiology. The second one is uniformity of human and environment. There is a homeostasis inside the human body, and there is harmony between humanity, nature, and society. So there are common rules shared by humans and nature. The third one is treating disease by overall regulation. In diagnosis, exterior manifestations are observed in order to review the interior pathology trends. So overall regulation is emphasized even for local lesions, just uh, skin disease. The second characteristic of Chinese medicine is maintaining balance between yin and yang. Human body is an unity of opposite size. Yin yang balance refers to harmony between yang qi and yin essence. This is fundamental to life and vitality. If balance is established, health is achieved. If not, there is disease, regression, even death will occur. And regulating yin yang balance is a uh, general principle for treatment. According to Chinese medicine, disease is formed due to imbalance of yin yang, and treatment aims at uh, uh, collecting this imbalance. So the dialectic principle may be used in the clinical work, such as regulating yin yang, supplementing deficiency, and dispelling itself to regain the balance of the yin and yang. So there are many methods can be uh, choose in the clinical work. The third characteristic of Chinese medicine is treatment based on syndrome differentiation. It refers to identify the different, different syndromes and treating according to the identified syndromes. It is a basic principle and methodology used in Chinese medicine for diagnosis and treatment. Syndrome is a definable pathology state of the disease that can include the stage of development, the cause, the uh, features, location, and the state of the conflict between the healthy energy and pathogenic factors. And syndrome deprivation process is analyzing and synthesizing the clinical information collected through the four diagnostic methods, such as inspection, auscultation, and official uh, inquiry and palpation. And disease syndrome combination is a new concept developed from treatment based on syndrome deprivation. It means combining condition identification with syndrome identification. In this concept, condition means disease name, cited in Western medicine. Condition identification means diagnosis is made according to the criteria in Western medicine, taking syndromes, symptoms, and lab results into consideration. When a doctor do a condition identification, he should according to the internationally accepted diagnostic criteria. 
One condition can include the disease stage and subtypes. And one condition can be divided into different types of syndromes due to heredity, constitution, lifestyle, and dietary habits. So the syndrome types may be viewed as subcategories of the condition. Following identifying of the condition, the syndrome type is differentiated. This determines the treatment principle, methods, formula, and herbs. So the following principle may be applied in the clinic. One is multiple therapies for a single disease. That is means a disease that has different syndrome types could be treated differently. The, the other hand is single therapy for multiple disease. This means different diseases which have a common syndrome could be treated by the same way. This have a conclusion that uh, when doctor do a syndrome types identify, he is according the right to pathogenesis distribution and standards of syndrome types. And after do the syndrome type identify, he can determine the uh, treatment principle and formula. After treatment, he should evaluate the clinical efficacy and safety. So we can, we can say syndrome differentiation is the key treatment framework in Chinese medicine. In the chapter two, I'll show you the clinical practice to see how to treat psoriasis based on disease syndrome combination. There's two parts in this chapter. For the psoriasis, typical skin lesions, membranes, pneumonia, and opposite sides are three features help doctor to confirm the disease diagnosis, just like uh, Western medicine. Because treatment based on symptom differentiation is the main characteristic of Chinese medicine. So before a doctor uh, do a prescription, he should do the symptom identify first. There are many symptom types may be seen in the clinical work. And there have been several research to, review, uh, to explore the primary symptom types uh, for the psoriasis. The first one is conducted by uh, Professor Dan. The second one is, pro, uh, is conducted by Professor Zhang. And the third one is conducted by Professor Li. And the last one is, pro, uh, is conducted by our research team. All the above research came to a similar conclusion that the primary symptoms of psoriasis vulgaris are blood stasis, blood heat, blood dryness, and combination of these types. There have been uh, international uh, centers help the doctor to, the, to do the syndrome differentiation, which based on combining local symptoms and systemic symptoms, uh, such as syndrome, the cl uh, syndrome classification may be uh, blood his blood dryness, and blood stasis. And according to the identified uh, prescription, the doctor can choose uh, the treatment principle and uh, choose some herbs to formulate uh, a prescription. Uh, because, uh, for example, when a doctor identifies a symptom is belong to blood heat, he may choose clear heat, cool blood, and detoxify for the principle. And the CGL D1 caution is mainly used in the clinical world for this uh, syndrome. Chinese medicine focused on the psoriasis vulgaris in the ad advanced and stable stage with moderate severe severity. It can evaluate the skin lesions and itching. It also can improve the quality of life and reduce patient stress. So people may uh, concern about how to evaluate the efficacy of Chinese medicine. We uh, have two aspects we should concern about. One is the disease severity. The other, the another one is the quality of life. 
for the disability, we use the international standard such as PASC score and VS score. It's two parts to evaluate the disability development uh, when he uh, treated by Chinese medicine. And for the quality of life, nowadays, there are more than 20 scales to evaluate the quality of life of patients with psoriasis across the world. There are eight scales have better psychometric properties, and three of them have the Chinese version, and the fourth and the fifth one has translated by our teams too. So we use these scales to evaluate the quality of life improvement after the patient treated by Chinese medicine. In the chapter three, I'll introduce some of our research work and results. The first area we have conducted is uh, about the evidence-based study. We have conducted several systemic reviews uh, which involves various topics to provide evidence for the efficacy and safety of Chinese herbal medicine for psoriasis. That is the highest level and golden standard because it's a systemic review. The first review is about oral herbal medicine for psoriasis. We got a conclusion that there is promising evidence in a number of the study of multi-herb formulations. The second one is about topical herbal formula in the management of psoriasis. We got a conclusion that the poor meta-analysis data indicate the topical herbal formula improves overall clinical efficacy. No serious adverse events were reported. And the third one is topical herbal medicine combined with pharmacotherapy for psoriasis. We got a conclusion that adding topical herbal medicine to conventional pharmacotherapy appear to produce certain additional clinical benefits. No seriously adverse events were reported. And the fourth one is egg on effect of Chinese herbal medicine bars to photo therapy for psoriasis valgalis. We got a conclusion that Chinese herbal medicine bus appears to be a beneficial and safe adjustive therapy to photo therapy for psoriasis valgalis. And the second area we have conducted is about the clinical study. We once conduct a clinical study to review the clinical efficacy of inhibiting CM01. That is one of the uh, herbal prescription used in clinical work is for psoriasis valgalis. And we got a conclusion that the efficacy of inhibiting CM01 is comparable with acetating with less side effect. We also conduct several pilot studies to review this formula's efficacy. Uh, one is conduct during 22 cases who treat by this formula, after one month and two months, we got a pest scores reduced significantly. And the second one is conducted among 43 cases who accepted inhibiting CM01 and the ear acupuncture at the same time. And we got a total effective rate of 74%. That's very nice results. Uh, in order to reveal the metabolism uh, trends after treating by this formula, we have conducted a clinical study among 41 cases. They received 12 week inhibiting CM01 decoction, and we got 26.9% achieved PASI 75 and 61% achieved PASI 50. In the metabolism study of morning urine showed significant difference pre and post treatment. And the metabolism state of patients tend to be normal after treatment, which suggests that the formula could regulate the metabolism status of the patient who received the inhibiting CMG-01 treatment. 
Uh, the third analysis we have conducted is uh, about the mechanism study. We have indicated the Chinese herbal medicine is on several pathways of the psoriasis. For example, it can inhibit mitosis of mouse vaginal epithelium. It can also promote formation of epidermis granular layers in mouse tail, which have observed by light microscope. In order to review the epidermis cells trends in mouse model induced by equipment, we have an experiment which conduct in a cis groove. This picture shows the equipment can induce the mouse model successfully. And this picture shows the epidemic trends after receiving inshaping CMG01 uh, in the mouse model induced by equipment. And this uh, pathologic trends we can see in the picture. And the, sur the, the surface areas of mouse model in lower dose, uh, intermediate dose, and higher dose uh, of inshaping CMG01 group decreased significantly compared with the uh, normal slide groove. It is comparable with compound glycylysin. We got a conclusion that the formula could inhibit epidermis cells proliferation in mouse model induced by equipment. And the T cells infiltration in mouse model in lower dose um, in the mere media lower dose uh, it decreased significantly too. Comparable with normal slide groove is comparable with compound glycylysin. We got a conclusion that the formula could inhibit T cells infiltrating in mouse model induced by equipment. This is another experiment we have conducted. It shows inshaping CMG01 can decrease the stability of mouse model induced by RAF23. We also observed there's some uh, RNS expression lowdown of psycho, uh, psychokinase in mouse model, such as IF17F, IF23, and interferon gamma. This result is similar to the computer prediction of this uh, formula. We have hypothesis is in yang balance is similar to the immune system's balance. In yang imbalance may cause disease, just like the immune disorder. In health, healthy person, there's harmony immune environment inside body. And psoriasis suffers has an autoimmune environment inside body. So Chinese medicine treatment aimed at regulating yin yang balance. So whether immunoregulation is the main mechanism of Chinese medicine on psoriasis, what is the material base of this regulation? This remain to be uh, revealed. I would like to express my gratitude to all the members of my research team. The outcomes are inseparable from their remarkable efforts and contribution. I am also sincerely indebted to the cooperative research team of RMIT in Australia. Their support and great contribution have made the evidence-based Chinese medicine develop successfully. Thank you for your listening. Thank you very much. Thank you for your question. Uh, in the theory of Chinese medicine, yin is the function, uh, yang, yang qi is the function of the human body. And yin is the essence, is the material inside our body. And the yin yang balance is the confirmed 
the healthy. If the balance is uh, occur, so disease will occur. Yes. And then the second one is. Oh, this uh, is a prescription we use in the clinical work, and now we do many research about this prescription to review the uh, efficacy. Uh, we do the clinical research and the uh, basic research to review what is the mechanism to treat this disease and what is the material basis for the disease treatment. Pardon? Ah, the medicine, yeah. Mm, because it's uh, combined with uh, several herbal, uh, yes. So we, we can, yeah, we have just developed them. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, on the view of Chinese medicine, yin yang is the uh, keep the balance is the healthy, but the drugs uh, there's many herbal drugs belong some of them belongs to yin essence, and some of them belong to yang essence. So we treat the uh, the cold disease with the heat drugs, and. Uh, hmm? You, you mean we, we don't use the drugs, but we can uh, review the... Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 This is this, this true. Because we, we have many ways to keep the yin yang balance. One is the herbal. We, we take the herbal medicine. The second one is we can make the um, exercise, different exercise can enhance yin or enhance yang. That's different. And in our dietary, many food is belong to different uh, property in our uh, daily life. So if one person is in deficiency, maybe we suggest him to take some yang uh, food. The property is belong to yang. So in dietary exercise and uh, another methods we can to achieve in yang balance. Okay? Thank you very much.